Albert Speer invented the theory of ruin value by examining the Greek and Roman ruins and constructed his buildings using both weaker and stronger materials so that they in a thousand years would appear as aesthetically perfect ruins. Which fortunately were smashed to atoms in mere few years after their construction. Hubris is punished by nemesis, if I may use an old-fashioned expression. But an artist must be cynical and not worry about the welfare of humans or gods in his art. This talk about the value of ruins makes it too obvious not to mention another subject, the value of icons. The Stuka, without a doubt the world's most beautiful airplane, and to top it off, featuring an eerily sophisticated detail. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. No, by God, that has never interested me, but do tell me about it. The Stuka was a dive bomber. They say that the pilots actually passed out for a brief moment during the actual dive. But the detail, per favore. Fantastic. Incomparable. Notice the sound when the plane dives. The screeching sound, a result of poor design, if you ask me. Poor design? Please. On the contrary, the screeching was intrinsic. Sirens were attached to the undercarriage of the plane, purposely designed as a psychological act of war. No one who heard it in action will ever forget that sound. It made the blood run cold in everyone's veins. Known as Jericho's trumpet. Sadistic, but in your eyes, probably a masterpiece. No, more than a masterpiece. An icon. The person or persons who conceived the Stuka and its functions were icon creators. What I'm getting at is this. As disinclined as the world is to acknowledge the beauty of decay, it's just as disinclined to give credit to those, no, credit to us, who create the real icons of this planet. We are deemed the ultimate evil. All the icons that have had and always will have an impact on the world are for me extravagant art. The Noble Rot.